Good morning. Good morning. I think I'm ready for my TED Talk, the second one. So I completed the information yesterday, basically how to find happiness and the biggest misconception about happiness. So happiness starts that, as Viktor Frankl said, and he could he could say it because he went through the Holocaust. Um, I don't remember the exact quote. It's not about the the what. It's about the basically the only choice a person has in life is to where is where he puts his mind, where he puts his focus. And I'm gonna sit down for this one. This is important. So a person could be going through major struggles, but where he puts his mind is will determine his feelings and which will determine his happiness. Now first of all, just to start, this is a skill. Being able to manage your mind, to put it in the right place, to put your awareness in the right place, is very hard. It takes a lot of practice. And not only that, sometimes you could put your mind in the right place, put it on your feelings, put it on a movie, but your thoughts can come and influence that and make it terrible. So, so it's tricky. So there's basically three things. There's three things that you could put your awareness on. You could put your awareness, I'm gonna continue to walk. You could put your awareness on your thoughts. You could put your awareness on your feelings, how you feel inside. And then you could put your awareness on basically the existence, the world, the sensory, where you see, what you feel, the very, you know, um, grounded, 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 grounded feelings and sensations. Now, obviously, there's a big mix. People can put part of their feelings on their thoughts, part of the feelings on their feelings, part of it on sensations. People could have a whole mixture of all three. But those are the three things. So, A very big misconception is, if I control the outer world, if I control my feelings, then what will happen is, I'll be okay. If I control my thoughts, I'll be okay. And we'll shut down feelings, we'll shut down thoughts, we'll be afraid to go places, we'll, we'll really try and control, quote unquote, the externals, as opposed to realizing that it's not the externals that's going to make a difference, but it's the... It's the awareness. So for example, I'm feeling overwhelmed, right? And I'm feeling overwhelmed. So I put my awareness to notice that even though my stomach feels overwhelmed, my hands feel so light and gentle. So that's an example where now my awareness just caused a change in my stomach. My feelings change. Based on, what we really essentially want is to feel good. We want to be happy. We want our feelings to feel good. And, and basically, we, we have to try and play with our own system, with our own personalities, with our, with our brains, to try and see what awareness is, is going to be the best for us. And that, I believe, is where the challenge lies. And happiness and for me, for me personally for a long time what I try to do is I try to avoid situations that are stressful avoid places not think knock out thoughts as opposed to putting very little awareness in the thoughts as opposed to moving my awareness to something else now that's very hard to do and that's that is where my next task is and that is where I've been putting my awareness on lately thank you very much for watching I hope this can help you Thanks.